one this week. Darn it. <laughs> so yeah, so, hello everybody. Um, it's my fault. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's all my fault. My uh, I've had her- horrible webcam problems and Skype issues that just make it just wants to crash. I've updated everything, but uh, it's not working. So you've got a lovely half-assed picture of my avatar instead. So I do apologise <laughs> about. I kind of like the the jank ghetto nature of it. Like it's halfway fitting in <laughs> yeah, your right. Skype face, oh, and yeah. it's great. It's ten go. out of ten. Here we go. The story Look. avatar. Look, I'm going to move it all around. Look at that. Woo! Ooh, Magic. Spooky. There you go. I'll try and fit it more perpendicular. Let's get a four <laughs> chance Here we go again, favoring the people who see it live and everyone else listening to exactly. it after today. They're just like, what are they talking about? You got you to gotta get here for the live stream. You got to see this, this, uh, this, these visual gags. The literal space magic. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm gonna. Um, I need to open the Planet Destiny chat. What are you talking about? You gotta. You gotta get here. For- <laughs> We're doing it live, folks. It yeah. Live. It's it's the thing about live. It goes horrendously. It's live. always more fun. I'd love to open the Planet Destiny chat, but I think this hotel internet will die if I try to do anything more than Skype. <laughs> so it's, it's holding up right all now. of the beard pretty well, you know. <laughs> oh, I you know. think it'd be able to handle the beard. But it's, it's holding up. We'll see. That's true. I paid extra for the for the additional power boost just to be able to handle the beard. <laughs> we'll see if it red bars it out. The extra three hundred a month is totally worth it. <laughs> There's a bit more color in it today, then. In the, the old oh, beard. It? Yeah, it's, I was going to say, have you, have you been to the salon? <laughs> I, I have not, unfortunately. I, I'm cursed with uh, just a red beard for some reason. I don't know. I'm par- part part ginger. Is that a curse or a blessing? Yeah, really. Come say, on. Part ginger, yeah. part pirate. Oh uh, like, well, I'll, <laughs> yeah. You kind of got the look. Yar, me name be red beard. Yar, <laughs> mega red beard. Oh, yeah, man. me and my baby face are over here playing the world. <laughs> Tiny oh. violin for your red beard, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, that's okay, Fallout. I was a baby face for a very long time, and then I gave it four months, and I grew this. Oh, look at that! That's now he's a preteen face. So, yeah. he's got beautiful bones. <laughs> beautiful the face bones. of a fourteen-year-old. I like that. I don't know if it'll make you feel any better. I shaved all this off yesterday and woke up like this. Uh, oh, I totally <laughs> buy that. At least there's not an unmade bed in any of your backgrounds. It's it's quite a popular <laughs> setting, isn't it, for quite a many famous oh, streamers? Geez. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> there are actually like two unmade beds behind me in this hotel room right now, but we'll just ignore it. That looks pretty tidy to me. Oh, I think we're maybe only catching the better the better Bad one. Half. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, also, really get... digging the hipster art. Sorry, I know we're trying to get started here, but there's just so many fascinating <laughs> things going you know on behind. Okay. You know what's weird about this hotel? I uh, I've stayed in three different rooms in this hotel over the weekend. Oh, Every single God. one of them has the exact same artwork. Right. <laughs> it's really <laughs> weird, and the exact positioning and everything. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, Why have you stayed in three different rooms <laughs> in the hotel? So uh, a poorly planned visit to Arizona for this wedding. All right, that's that's really all I can say. Just uh, a room was paid for me, paid for me for the first two nights, and then it like it. What I stayed in a hotel room that they had bought for someone else the night after that, who left early, and now I'm in a third room right now. So it's great. Good weekend. (laughs) Thanks for being with us, though. After you know, after the whole thing, that's that's really appreciative, mate. It's yeah. it's it's great to be here and get to talk about Destiny for a change when I didn't get to play all week. I just had to celebrate my friend's love. Ugh. Let's talk <laughs> about video games. <laughs> and we're glad uh, we're glad that you're here this week, Bones. We missed you last time. Yeah, man. Yes. Oh, I, missed, uh, I missed being here. It was very sad. I was just like, you know, you're not not feeling like the worst I've ever felt. But there's a big difference between feeling bad and feeling good enough to be on a camera for about an hour and a half. Yeah, man. And it just wasn't gonna happen. But uh, I'm glad we're back. I also. Uh, may or may not not be on the next episode of crucible radio so it's been like so long since i've podcasted (laughs) and i feel very weird like i like no one's let me just talk about destiny for an hour so you get some stuff out of my system yes your roommate comes in and roommate comes in and catches you talking destiny to your cat because you just (laughs) talk to somebody (laughs) yeah scandalous getting that toll in madness over here i see oh yeah right then what are we doing First, we've we've got our pleasantries out of the way. We've broken the ice. I've apologised for not having a face. <laughs> what are we doing, and why are we doing uh, it? 
Well, yeah. something cool happened this weekend with uh, Mr. Zur, and it's been roughly one year, seven months since I've said something cool happened with Zur. <laughs> but uh, he sold the Trespasser, yeah. and Ooh. I saw it in every trials run this weekend because of that. <laughs> uh, so people are getting their hands on the new exotic sidearm, and I was using it in our banner actually a lot. I think it's pretty good, and I think we should talk about sidearms a little bit. Yeah, man. I'm a I'm a big fan of the Trespasser. I got it before Zer, and I'm kind of sad that now everybody's gonna have it, and I won't have that little advantage yeah. to help me. Yeah. You're still our special snowflake, yeah, but man. um, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I happened to be lucky enough to get this before Rise of Iron came out. Did you know that that update oh, that yeah. came out before Rise yeah, of Iron, yeah, yeah. you could actually start getting it then. And I lucked out on my like fifth special weapon engram. I love this thing. I love it. It's become one of my go-tos in Crucible. It's a very fun weapon. Very fun. I like it. See, I, it is. I, I, I was the opposite. I, I, I started using it, and I thought, ah, it's not that special, but I was running around, and then I melted a Blade Dancer in one clip, <laughs> and was like, okay! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this works. I like this sold. now. <laughs> yeah. I'm a big fan of its aesthetic too, like not just how it uh, it plays, but I really like the the look of it and the little red light on the back to let you know when you have like the awesome burst after yeah. you kill someone. Oh, yeah. That's its official name, right? Is the awesome burst? Yeah. Awesome Can we burst. coin that? <laughs> the awesome burst, yeah. Burst of awesome. I'll you know, that. sidearms aren't really as like immediately amazing as shotguns or snipers, but when you get that kill with the sidearm, you just feel really good about it. <laughs> You it's gotta you like, feel like such a snot where you just do like the Nelson <laughs> laugh from, from Simpsons. You're like, ha ha! Like, yeah. you with the sidearm. I want to like <laughs> twirl my sidearm and blow off the smoke yeah. or something like that. Like, yeah. It feels like cool, like a like an action star moment when you like desperately whip out your sidearm and get that like kill. You know, it's just there's something about it. It's action packed. It's also one of the like. I think the, probably one of the most powerful counters for Titans with Juggernaut shields as well. Mm -hmm. Melt straight through that shield and straight through their bodies and straight through the back of them and into the next person behind them. <laughs> <laughs> That's we're bringing back awesome armor shots. piercing rounds. No, we're Please. bringing it back. <laughs> Please, I want to be able to wall bang people with ridiculous no scopes. But um, yeah, you know, and uh, with sidearms, they're of course the weapon that you're supposed to be kind of using for more of a mid-range setup to counter shotguns. You're not really supposed to be pulling them out in close range because hello, Matador is going to say hi. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the Trespasser works really well for that. You're absolutely right. If you can catch a Titan, you see that he's skating towards you, and you're mid-range out, so you're not within the one-shot kill range of Matador, Boom. that thing gives hands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. What are the thoughts on it in PvE as well? Because, of course, we've been wielding it in PvP and loving it. I think it is also a viable option for quite a few different scenarios in PvE. What do you boys think? <laughs> The, was the Nightfall Specialist this week? I haven't played since like the update day. I can't remember. All right, I thought it was really, I thought it was really fun to use then in the Nightfall. Like that extra burst of power on it was was a lot of fun for me. I did dib dib dibble and dabble with it when we had the heroic <laughs> strikes on the week one of Rise of Iron, and we had the arc burn, and it was immensely powerful because I, I was another lucky fellow I never get lucky but I, I popped over to the cryptarch <laughs> decoded the first special weapon engram and wham there was the trespasser so I was knocked off my chair onto the ground <laughs> so I did try it on the first week of Rise of Iron and it was great in PvE for Arkburn fantastic sort of fills that uh that hole in your heart that fate bringer <laughs> Made when it oh, no. when no one started using it anymore, you know. <laughs> Nearly, fate bringer still. <laughs> Not, yeah, there's, a, yeah. there's a gaping crevasse nothing, in my heart. That, that, that a little more than a hole. Nothing uh, can replace fate bringer, no. but still, it it does feel good to use the trespasser. Yeah, it's a fun gun. It's a fun yeah, gun. I, I think the burst fire makes it not only good damage output, but in terms of the crucible, one of the biggest problems I have with sidearms is actually making the shots count. It's a. Uh, it's actually the rate of fire that you can get out of most sidearms is almost too fast to really aim at the same time, just the way your hand yeah. works. Yeah. So you're trying to pull a trigger and aim at the same time. It just doesn't happen very well. So the, the trespasser and that burst fire means you got that more concentrated DPS and you can aim it. You know, you don't have to hit every single shot. Uh, you know, most sidearm kills are not with just straight crit hits, but 
uh, I think that gives it a really nice uh, comfort zone to use it. So even if it's not the dominating special weapon in the meta right now, it's comfortable, which feels good to players. Yeah. True. And, and if you get that... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, good. I was just going to, I was just agreeing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I concur. Hmm. Exactly. <laughs> but Indeed. if you manage to get that four burst perk in, depending on your enemy's armor level, you can two tap people, which is mm. really, really satisfying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, and that's what makes it, you know, pretty viable, especially in, in 6v6. I've been meaning to use it more, just mess around in, in trials or mess around in in rumble maybe but when you do have more players on the field uh you know you have shorter time uh between engagements and you can actually make that perk really useful i mean it's rare in 6v6 to not have someone to shoot with that second perk if you actually if you mm -hmm. get it to proc so so that's what makes it really fun in in big game modes how about we know the trespasser is a fantastic sidearm it's definitely earned its place in many folks' is exotic sidearm slots. But what mm -hmm. legendaries have we got? Being as we're, we're, while we're on the subject of sidearms, what legendaries come close? Because we don't see a huge amount of them, really, do we? Not for both PvP and PvE. I have the Iron Banner sidearm. Me too. Iron Wreath, yes. Yeah. Oh, no, that's uh, the, 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 the new, the new, oh, the new one. Yeah. Oh. I have both. I have the old one too. The new one <laughs> of course. <laughs> is escaping me. Right I now. I will tell you, I've got my Destiny item manager up here. It is called the Binding Blaze. That is, it. Ooh. that is it. And mine is pretty neat because it has reactive reload on it. So what I've been doing with it when I decide to use it, I go in and I kind of, you know, play the game normally with my palindrome or hawksaw or whatever. Yeah. And if I find a guy mid-range, he's weak. Or if I hit somebody with a grenade, you know, soften them up a little bit, I'll take out the sidearm finish them off with that, reload, then you got the reactive reload perk active, and you can cut through people pretty effectively with the reactive reload sidearm. Mm -hmm. For me, a legendary, a legendary sidearm is just usable if you got high caliber rounds. I think because all of the perks do less to the stat bars, you know, and I play out differently, but you see those little tweaks, and you're like, I can't really max range on this one or anything. For me, if I have high caliber side, a sidearm with high caliber, I'll give it a shot because that rate of fire can be yeah. so obnoxious. Oh, that flinch factor! their head will be going all over the place. So for me, that makes sidearms kind of flexible in terms of what which ones are good. Uh, you get one that feels good. There's a there's a noticeable rate of fire difference. Some of them have a, a a rather slower one, which can be easier to control. But if you get the one that feels good to you and it's got high cal, then that's a good sidearm to me. Well, I was lucky enough to get two of the Binding Blaze from Iron Banner, and the first one dropped with Fitted Stock, Quick Draw, and Reactive Reload. And the second one dropped with Fitted Stock, High Cow Rounds, and Range Finder, or a choice of crowd control. <laughs> So, it's not bad. That was really good. Um, I don't use <laughs> wow. them very often, right. so I get yeah, it's like a rule of thumb. Great rolls, god rolls, and stuff that I hardly ever use. So now I'm going to start <laughs> using stuff that I hardly ever use for sure. That's some first world destiny problems if I've yeah. ever heard. Oh yeah. I mean, it's just kind of fun though. Guy. It's motivation to use new stuff is always fun. I mean, really, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I think the only legendary sidearm that I, I held on to, other than the queen sidearm from uh, from the Taken King, was a Yabber Hockey. I'm looking at it right here. Oh. It came with uh, Sure Shot, Crowd Control, Spray and Play, and High Caliber Rounds. So just to add on to what, uh, what Bonesy was saying over there, when you hit people with this thing, they feel it. They yeah, feel it yeah. a lot. And then if you get that kill, you get a quick reload with that Spray and Play, and suddenly you've got a sidearm that's got High Cal Rounds with Crowd Control active. It's fun. Oh, that's fun. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. What a I'll wonderful I'll take spray weapon. and play on anything. That's such a Oh yeah. Uh, a great perk. I hate reloading. <laughs> I just never want it to happen. <laughs> Might as well get it done as quick as possible, right? <laughs> yeah. Is my I'm going to give a bit low. Is someone in the chat saying audio Audio low? low? Mm, audio no. low. Is audio I don't know, you sound fine. You sound to perfect to me, buddy. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll pay attention to the chat. If lots of people say it's low, I'm going to turn it up. <laughs> All right. Up. 
I'll tell well, do it. Yeah. I have tell I have one out. complaint about the trespasser while we're on the subject that it doesn't have a RoboCop skin is just a <laughs> yes! tragedy. <laughs> My friend like, said the same thing. <laughs> it's it's atrocious. How could you not do that? It's so obvious. Like they uh, even copyrights. described it as a as a ro- as the RoboCop sidearm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Come on. Uh, I mean, not not to say that Crucible <laughs> and a Fallen Assassin aren't great ornaments. Those things yes. are fantastic. But come on, man. I wanted the, the big old RoboCop gun. <laughs> that bummed me out. Yeah, I have the Fallen Assassin, but the Crucible one with the chromed out. Oh, man. Make yeah. anything chrome and I'll, and I'll pay real money for it. <laughs> you, <laughs> That's it. You, you really want that Squidward SpongeBob future, don't you? That uh, oh, everything yes. being chrome. <laughs> yes. Yes. Anything that's not chrome, the squad just rolls up. <laughs> Good. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, while we're on the subject of sidearms real quick, I just want to give a quick shout-out to KJ Hovey. Um, I was watching his stuff lately. He put out a video of... Uh, it was a highlight reel of him playing Trials. I don't know if you guys have ever watched KJ Hovey play Trials. Oh, yeah. But he... Familiar. Yeah, sure. Great player. And he was using the No Land Beyond, as he's been known to do. And his backup was the Iron Wreath sidearm. And that kind of surprised me, because I thought, you know, No Land Beyond shotgun would be a good combo to really lock down mid to long range and then short range. But he was mm-hmm. putting in real work with that sidearm. Tremendous work. Like, he would throw a scatter nade midair and then come down, pumping the trigger as quickly as he could. And he was just cleaning up. They it's just really a very interesting option for setups. You know, when you when you have something that's not, you know, it, it you can use a gun that's more towards the extreme side if you have a sidearm because that sidearm gives you a lot of flexibility. So if you have a scout rifle that you've set up to be incredibly long range, one of the high impact one sort of things, or a Jade Rabbit, if you're on the PS4, you can use that sidearm to cover your big. Uh, open area. See, I don't really like a Jade Rabbit shotgun setup, because I feel like I can't really handle that mid-range with that sun- kind of mm-hmm. scout rifle. You get a, a sidearm, and then and then you're good, because the sidearm can can save you inside and stuff. So they, op- they offer a lot of flexibility, which is, um, it's a good argument for them, even if they aren't going to be the main killers that every other special weapon can be. They offer options, which is always good. I think, and uh, I didn't even think about that. My favorite thing about the Trespasser is just always having special ammo or sidearms in general. Yeah. Is like <laughs> that true. is mm-hmm. a killer thing. That's a small perk on them, you know. They always yes. get ammo, no matter where yeah. you are or what you're doing. Yeah. Which doesn't really help with people abusing only using special weapons, but still, it's fun. That I'll say the only. I don't. Well, I, I I don't mind either. I'm just saying, with the Trespasser, it's so good that it's yeah, like all I want to use. What if a shotgun's my favorite gun? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> or what if I want to use it? Is it not <laughs> everyone's favorite gun at the minute? I mean, yeah. are there are what there people who favorite? play this game that don't like shotguns? <laughs> I don't know. People who are getting killed by them. Well, yeah. <laughs> it, it's a funny thing with the whole shotgun thing because at the moment I'm enjoying shotgun gunplay. I think I enjoyed it in year one. Year two was a little bit much, I think, with the whole shot package, even though there's a part of me that secretly wants shot package to come back. <laughs> dare I say this, you know? <laughs> you monster. Dare, dare I say <laughs> this. But, uh, yeah, like, I, I'm enjoying shotgun gunplay. I just feel that <laughs> snipers need to be brought back up in line with it. And uh, while we're on the subject of sidearms, are they in a good place for both PvE and PvP? Do they need any kind of buffs or anything added to them, you think? You know, that's really hard to say. Um, there's a lot of ways you can look at it. I mean, I am pretty sure that for a PvP sake, if you were to lay out the numbers of what special weapons get used most frequently, I would maybe be willing to bet money that sidearms would be at the bottom. Yeah. Um, I unless I'm way off base. a pretty safe here. bet. I, I never yeah. really <laughs> encounter it with anybody that I know, at least. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's interesting too because if you use a sidearm in PVE, you're relying on everything else to slay those bosses. Mm-hmm. And you know, over the years, we've definitely moved away towards stand in one spot and do a lot of damage, which mm-hmm. I couldn't be more happy about. But it can be, 
it feels like you're just being dumb if you get to a boss encounter and you've got your sidearm out. <laughs> you're like, well, uh, I hope my teammates brought a lot of snipers and rockets because <laughs> I'm, I'm about, be I'm about to my primary axis. Let's do this. <laughs> I got this. Yeah. So in that sense, it's like, yeah, they have their place, but they're not going to be. Uh, they'll never dominate because yeah. they they won't be able to put out that sort of damage. I think in the Crucible, they're pretty okay. I wouldn't mind. A, a, a tweak to like a mag size because you go through that so yeah. fast. Yeah, yeah and you do. if I look at any other secondary, say I'm playing the best I've ever played in this hypothetical scenario, I can put down five people with a shotgun, four people with a sniper, f- four to six people with a fusion before I ever have to reload. I get a kill with a sidearm, and it's like. All right, that was cool. I'm gonna go reload now because that's I'm out yeah. of ammo. So, <clears throat> so if there point. was a, if there was an ability to to stay aggressive with it and stay in it, and you didn't have to reload every time, um, then then maybe I'd 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 use them more. That's interesting. I think an, an ammo buff like larger clips and maybe a bit more reserve could actually make yeah. things a bit more viable. And in PVE, just a slight damage buff just to make them a bit more like you know how in year one shotguns were like really weak and then they were buffed in pve and it was like wow i can use a shotgun in pve <laughs> and this is fun this is like crazy amounts of fun i think maybe sidearms could do with just a slight tweak so they were a bit more a bit more a bit more wow factor for pve i think me personally this is where I get into dangerous territory, letting my imagination wander. I'm just thinking about like what they could do to the sidearm. Like, what if there was a perk where every time you got a precision kill with the sidearm in PvP, your ammo would come back. Like, you would generate new ammo, so you wouldn't have to worry about running out of ammo. And also, you would get like a little bit of an agility boost or something, and it would like stack. So, like, the more people you start killing with the sidearm, all of a sudden you're, like, flying around the map like a crazy person. So, like, continuously stacking Battle Runner? Yeah. <sighs> That's scary. Uh, just, yes. give, just give him wolf pack <laughs> rounds. Come on. You know you want to. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> That's what they needed. You trapped it. Sure. <laughs> Uh, How do you guys feel about hit scan on uh, sidearms? Because right now I think there are only two sidearms in the game that actually are hit scan, and it's the Queen's one, right? Like uh, Vestian Dynasty and the Queen's Choice, I want to say. Yes. Wasn't the Dreg's Promise? Would, and Dreg's Promise. And Dreg's Promise. Hit scan, right. yeah. How would yeah. you feel if all sidearms were hit scan? <laughs> no more bullet travel time. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't know if I notice it or mind it too much on those. Um, I think they should all be instant because oftentimes you're using a si- sidearm backing up. And, yep. yeah. You know, <clears throat> we're talking about the only secondary weapon that doesn't have a time to kill of zero. So the longer it takes to kill, the the less viable they become. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I don't need some insane damage boost, but I want it to just happen when it happens because getting pushed with a sidearm, can, can that's where you start doing those things where you're shooting too fast and you're not aiming and yeah. get a little hectic. So I think they've, they've got to be able to act and work quickly and efficiently if they're going to be the only secondary where you don't get a, a kill instantly. Yeah, man. I like that, that changing it so there's less travel time, projectile travel time, and a little bit more ammo in the clip as well as in the reserves. I can't really see much, you know, that ne- the negative sides of, like, tweaking those just a little. Yeah. I'm usually wrong, though. <laughs> sounds, good, sounds good to me. I'll, I'll I never, that. like... I feel like so few people are like, oh, I just, I perfectly predicted all of those patch notes. That's exactly what I said they should have done. <laughs> Go me. <laughs> For anyone <laughs> listening at home, can you please just record that audio of Bones saying that he's wrong? Please email that to me. Don't I worry, I'm yes. recording. PayPal you later. <laughs> Good. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, yeah, gonna, I, that'll be all I, over the internet. 
While sidearms, I do believe, are they're a fun class to play with. Uh, you guys are absolutely right when you say, in comparison to the other special weapons, which the, the main feature of a special weapon is that it can kill in one hit in a certain range. They all have an mm-hmm. optimal range where they can kill in one hit under certain circumstances. So sidearms are kind of already at a disadvantage there. Mm-hmm. And uh, while I don't know exactly what Bungie can do to make them a little bit more uh, leveled off with some of the other special weapons... I still have fun with them sometimes. Sure. Yeah, they're not sure. my primary in Crucible, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They're, Situational. Fun. They are fun. they're fun. The Trespasser yeah. has definitely paved a different route because that's the one that's really sticking out and seems to be a hell of a lot more yeah. viable than every other one that we've had so far. And that's not just yeah. because of the exotic perk. You know, that that I mean the exotic perk does boost it, you know, rather considerably, but in general its base gameplay is very viable in many mm-hmm. situations in the Crucible at least. Mm-hmm. I'll say this, the first time in Destiny I ever leveled up an armor piece that had sidearm ammo was a week ago when I got the yeah. Trespasser. <laughs> yeah, I think I I've picked never that for the first time yeah. too, right <laughs> last week, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, they're fun. But guys, I've been super out of the loop this past week. Hmm. Uh, I've not been reading the internet, I've had other stuff to do. So what happened this week and what went on in this week at Bungie because I don't even think I read it for the first oh, time. Oh man! Ooh, man. Ooh. Well, well we that's why we a... have that's why we have Link here so he can <laughs> read it to you in his yes. amazing reading voice. Alrighty then, <laughs> I've got the notes up, but I'm going to bring up the actual weekly update because there's a lot of stuff in here and I don't want to get it wrong. But uh, the big thing is we're going to be getting a patch. On Tuesday at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time, it's going to be the big patch before the hard mode of the raid comes out. And uh, in this patch, we're going to be getting a little bit of a light level increase. It's going to be bumping up from, I think, the max you can get right now is maybe, what, 387? Yep. I want to say yep. it's the highest anyone's yep. ever gotten. Yeah. It's, they're going to be pushing that up to 400. Uh, maximum light will be increased to 400 via strike hordes. This is the treasure chest you have at the end of heroic strikes. Uh, the nightfall, exotic engrams, trials of Osiris, iron banner, any of those in-game rewards will now be able to get you up to 400 light, which supposedly is probably going to be where the heroic mode uh, levels off when that comes out later that day. Now, in addition to those rewards pushing up to 400, uh, I think the 320 Siva Crisis strike playlist is going to be bumping up to 365. You can now yeah. get to 365 just playing that 385 and isn't it i think it's i think that's already... the heroic playlist oh yeah, yeah sorry sorry i thought you the said heroic sorry, I'm, just 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm an idiot i'm <laughs> leaving <laughs> rip career ended <laughs> But uh, yeah, you're going to be able to get to 365 using the 320 playlist, 385 <laughs> using the heroic playlist, and then of course your in-game rewards, like I just said, like trials, faction packages, all that stuff's going to be able to get you up to 400. And then later on Tuesday, I think at 2 p.m. Pacific time, the heroic mode of the raid is coming out. Oh, mm-hmm. gonna be now big. Now we're gonna get those those ham cannons and the sniper. Yeah. Oh my god! Have you guys seen them? Have you gone through the database and looked at the uh, the the heroic raid weapons? I've been trying to keep I it did, a surprise, uh, but I guess my cherry will be popped right now. I've been doing that too. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, if you if you don't want us to, to talk about it, we no, can we've got to no, talk we, about we, we it. We've got to talk, talk about it. Oh my gosh! Yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff in there. The hand cannon, in particular, fever and remedy. Wow, that's a great name. That sounds like yeah. a band name, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it kind of does. <laughs> I was thinking it, it sounds a bit more like a lem sip. You know, the kind of thing you drink when you've got a flu. <laughs> it's uh, maybe. I, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> As with most of the, uh, the the raid weapons, they're kind of modified versions of uh, foundry weapons. This is a modified version of the Judith D. It's going to be in the 22 rate of fire, 81 impact, which I think is the Fatebringer tier, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's got some pretty interesting abilities on it, man. Mm-hmm. Like reactive reload, hammer forged, speed reload, reinforced barrel, and its special ability, quick reaction, where you gain increased agility while the reactive reload perk is active. Oh, that's that's similar to Quantiplasm, then, you know, that's, like, yeah. get a kill, start speeding around like you're on crystal meth. I like it. <laughs> I don't care about anything else. I just want that hand cannon. Yeah, man. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds awesome, especially for those sort of, uh, you know, low-stress PvE if you're just strike grinding and stuff. I love strikes when I can complete them in four minutes. I know that's maybe not what they want to happen all the time, but I love that. 
that's so satisfying. So if that hand cannon just helps you move quicker and, and complete things faster, uh, it sounds awesome. Sounds pretty good for the raid too. I feel like on the up on the bridge that could be that could be pretty nice yeah. or up on the wall. What have we got for the pulse rifle, Link? What have we got? I'm really right, interested let's... about this pulse rifle. Are you sure you want to know? Pop my cherry, man. Pop it oh, yes. wide open. Know. Yes, <laughs> we need to know. Just going in. <laughs> the pulse rifle is the steel medulla. Let me bring up its stats. It is in the 66 rate of fire, 14 impact tier. Perk-wise, this thing is rocking full auto, high caliber rounds, speed reload, hand laid stock, and its special ability is sign of four, where landing three bursts on a target causes the fourth burst to do extra damage. Mm. It is a modified version of the Herja D, it looks like. Wow. Um, neat. Looks like it's going to be able to hit. Its max stability is 100, so with hand laid stock, it's able to hit max stability. It's got full auto. That's perfect for a lazy man like me who doesn't want to pull the trigger every time. So I'll I'm take in. that. On paper, that sounds like it might be a viable one in the old Crucible as well, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Same thing with the, the, not to take us back, but the hand cannon. The, uh, I, I do believe it's capable of hitting 62 range, which is, I That's think, the good. max. Yeah. That yeah. And the, uh, the 22 oh, rate of fire and the 81 impact, I just want to remind everybody, yeah. that is the archetype for the palindrome and the Ayas Luna, yeah. which is like the number one hand mm -hmm. cannon in Crucible right now. So yeah. you should definitely, definitely try to pick up that raid hand cannon if you can. It sounds fun. Yeah, it's pretty. That pulse could be just huge DPS. I know that's kind of the idea of the raid scout. It's definitely <laughs> the idea of the outbreak prime, where you can actually use yes. your primary uh, to take down a boss. I was just talking about this. How if you have sidearms, you gotta rely on your primary. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm I'm thinking about just axis encounters and stuff like that. That pulse rifle sounds like it can do a lot of consistent damage, which would be really nice. Yeah, you know. Um, being able to hit that maximum impact with full auto, it's a lazy man's option, and I like that. I'll take <laughs> yeah. the lazy man's option of not having to tap my fire button. Well, I don't That's think awesome. lazy, but just more efficient. We spend efficient. a lot of hours. There you go. You know yeah. what I mean? We spend a lot of hours. So efficiency is uh, definitely protocol number one. How about the sniper rifle, man? Is this going to be a, like top? Because we've got some very good sniper rifles in the game at the moment, despite all the nerfs and everything. We've got the trial sniper, the winged or winged word, however you want to pronounce it. This is topping the charts. So how is this new hard mode raid sniper going to stack up to that? What have we got on it? Well, the sniper rifle is called the X Machina. It's a modified Irene RR4. It is in the 12 rate of fire, 37 impact tier, which is the highest impact tier, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is 37 the highest? Yes. This yes. thing is rocking spray and play, hand loaded, quick draw, injection mold, and its special ability is called wait for it. We're reloading this weapon when the mag is empty grants a larger than normal magazine. Oh, so kind wow. of a pseudo clown oh, cartridge yeah, there. Clown cartridge. Gotcha. Okay. God, I could just listen to you talk all <laughs> goddamn night. Do I need, do that, I need to get you to a separate podcast? Just, <laughs> talk water here while, uh, <laughs> if you oh, want, I can dear. God, uh, but yeah. bring up some terms that, and services and just go uh, through every single line. Uh, that <laughs> sniper is going to hit so hard. 37 mm. impact. That's um, that's black spindle tier. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, having the pseudo clown cartridge, well, it's actually a little bit better than clown cartridge since I think it's guaranteed to get a yeah. larger than uh, the normal magazine size when you reload while it's empty. Yeah. That's like the same thing that the raid rocket launcher has, right? Yeah. 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 You reload and suddenly you've got eight rockets. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll that's take that. A, nice. That's a great perk for sniper rifles, which I feel like hurt on the ammo. Uh, and, you know, they, they kind of hurt and, and all over right now, but. It's it's very noticeable when I can run out of ammo constantly sniping um, in a crucible or otherwise, but and then have plenty of shotguns to go around. So I think that kind of perk is exactly what what it needs to just feel like you can stay in the game constantly and still rack up kills and not just look around for the green special box. Uh, for yeah, most that's perfect for you, Bone, since you just said you hate reloading. So <laughs> I do I mean, <laughs> I, I think we should remove reloading from the game. Everything should oh, be... Oh, please <laughs> remove. Oh, God. Reloading. 
Gotta go. Well, surely yeah. it's the future. Surely there's some kind of uh, ammunition yeah. that just lasts yeah. forever, like a Willy Wonka's everlasting gobstopper of ammo. <laughs> yeah. You would, you no, would it's think it's sitting around the boxes. ability to create like arrows out of thin air and shoot magic bomb explosions that we could do that. But Warlocks eh, can do it. Warlocks can <laughs> conjure up a big purple blob of doom and lob that <laughs> at unsuspecting. We also can walk around and just not have to reload. Well, yeah. Yeah. We can do that. Space magic. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking of the most over the top complainy internet fan like we have to reload our guns oh, like, what, what, what are we fighting in like world war Hashtag one come on you mean reload. i have to press a button <laughs> this is the future it's too much work man too much not work to, not to jump back to that sniper but like once you get one is there any other special weapon to bring into the raid I feel like this is going to be the perfect weapon to clear the final boss in the raid. I mean, just yeah. think of all the perks together. So it's the hardest hitting sniper that you can get. Mm -hmm. Huge DPS. So when you finish and bleed out the magazine, you have spray and play, so you reload it faster. The wait for it perk gives you more ammo in the magazine, and the gun does extra damage to Fallen? <laughs> yeah. Oof. The, yeah. The guy... <laughs> You're just gonna rip him apart. Like it's not even gonna be fair. Don't don't let them know. Don't let Bungie hear us. They'll take it out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how would that be balanced? I'm thinking that perhaps they put they're gonna put a really nasty telescopic thousand oh. millimeter scope on it. You know, <laughs> it's like that you can see the moon thirty times zoom. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is actually important to bring up because, as is the case with pretty much all these raid weapons, uh, you can't customize the sights. All yeah. you've got is a muzzle tree for I think each and every uh, each and every weapon type, except yeah. for maybe the hand cannon. The hand cannon might um, yeah. might be able to change yeah. its change its uh, its actual sight tree. But yeah, for the sniper rifle, you don't have sights. You can't <clears throat> you can't pick short gaze. You can't yeah. pick ambush. It's just got linear compensator, accurized ballistics, and field choke. Yep. So it's going to have its own special sight, and we have no idea at what kind <clears throat> of ranged scope this is going to be. Yeah. I feel like Axis is going to walk into the ER <laughs> with his <laughs> ass in a sling. It's just like, oh god, it's so terrible. And then Omnigol is going to be like, yeah, I know. Welcome to the club. <laughs> She's retired. Only got himself to blame. <laughs> yeah, man. Why did I give them that gun that deals more damage to me? <laughs> Why did I drop that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, here, yeah, um, I'm reading in the chat that people are saying that Axis does not count as Fallen I, currently. I, yeah, I was going to I was gonna say I thought that he, he didn't count, but uh, Vasek did, right? Okay. Gotcha, okay. It doesn't matter, yeah. still going to crush. It doesn't matter, oh, yeah, still going to get horn. Like, I mean, the fact that it's still like the highest impact class, like yeah. Sniper, means it's still going to be the best choice oh, yeah. to use. And yeah. it reloads quickly, and it gets more ammo when you reload it. He's yeah. still going to get the business, dude. See, that's going to be perfect, because <laughs> I use I like to use my exotic slot with a sword there to one-hit the captains, so it's going to be great. Yeah. Like, I don't, You don't have to use Spindle or anything. You can go with that other one. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I've got that in the chat, that Axis is pure Seaver. Ah, pure sopping sure. wet Seaver. There we go. <laughs> that God. kind of makes sense, doesn't it, really? Because if you did have the Fallen buff and he was Fallen, then that's... that's I think that's giving a little too much. That's true. And they took that, I mean, physically, he's still part Fallen, right? Well, I mean, he's just corrupted by... I mean, he's... He's so corrupted that he no longer even is. Like that's the point, man. There's none of his original yeah, self dude, left. Read no trace. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. He has reached Machine though. God. This is right. treatment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, moving on here, we have the raid sidearm, the Zeal Vector. It's a uh, modified Prideri D. It is. Uh, do we really care about the rate of fire and the impact on uh, on on sidearms? Because <laughs> there is a difference. There are definitely some slower firing ones, but like you don't feel it's it. Kind of hard to tell. Yeah. There's yeah, two yeah. rates of fire on sidearm. There's through yeah. the roof, and there's almost <laughs> through the roof. Yeah. <laughs> well, this one's a 98 rate of fire, eight impact sidearm, and this bad boy comes with reactive reload, hand loaded, speed reload, quick draw. And quick reaction, where you gain increased agility while the reactive reload perk is active. So again, very similar to what we've seen before on the shotgun. Yeah. That sounds pretty good for me. Mm -hmm. Reactive reload plus more agility? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we take that here. Hold on to that one, because if sidearms ever get a buff, 
you're probably going to see that one rocket up to the top of the meta list, perhaps, mm. maybe, possibly. Mm. <laughs> I'll stash it away in my vault like the dirty weapon hoarder I <laughs> yeah. am. Don't tell uh, yeah, let me just let me just make a little bit of room. I have to delete <laughs> some stuff. Don't delete it. Gonna pack it onto my actual <laughs> character so I can stick something else in my vault. Yeah. <laughs> Hoarders, all of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy. I'm hoarder and I'm proud. Yes. All right, next up we've got the Raid Machine Gun, the If Materia. It's a modified Deluvian, so it is in that 100 rate of fire, 25 impact tier, which just got a buff uh, right before Rise of Iron, right? Didn't yeah. that tier of uh, machine guns get a little bit of a buff? Yeah, to say. they did. Nobody but, noticed it. Uh, <laughs> it you can't really I feel it. Happened, I mean, I I'm using machine guns a hell of a lot more in Crucible now than I've ever used them before, particularly in Rumble, and the Nemesis star has shot straight to the top of my list. It's good. Machine guns. It's, oh, it's good. Not yeah. only is it yes. good, but it is, it is loads of fun to use. The sights are great. The sounds are great. Um, so I've been... My eye is now on machine guns, spe specifically for playing Rumble with. Uh, it, it does work with other modes, of course, but I think that's where machine guns are really shining at the moment. Um, you see... The thing about machine guns in PvP is they're very high reward, but high risk. Mm -hmm. Because if you yeah. put a machine gun up against a top-tier rocket launcher, well, yeah. basically anything with grenades and horseshoes, you're probably going to lose in the one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> yep. But if you can play well with your team, and you can coordinate it, and kind of just maybe take, especially in like a 6v6 game type, take a couple seconds and wait back, maybe help team shoot the enemies, be really careful with your cover, if you can keep alive <laughs> yeah. with that machine gun to the point where your team helps you kill the enemy rocket launchers you can just clean up yep you mean you mean ignore my team and go run and hide in the back of the map exactly right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. grab the heavy pull out machine gun find a place to camp and wait for the feed to stop showing little rocket launcher icons <laughs> right exactly. and you do and then if profit you know, that's Disclaimer. part of the reason <laughs> strategies shared by story are not necessarily reflected or <laughs> <laughs> by the Land Wars team. You didn't hear officially endorse it, but <laughs> you must, you must camp, you must <laughs> camp. I mean, that's part of the reason for why machine guns got knocked down a bit in year one, because you could just get that heavy if you had something like the the zombie apocalypse or Lord forbid the BTRD. Do yeah. you guys remember that? that thing thing? Oh my oh, god! That was fun. Yeah. Oh my god! That was my baby. You know, Shoulders hammer with Shoulders crowd hammer. control, just mm -hmm. two tap everything. You could just you could just grab heavy, get to the back of the battlefield, literally wait things out, wait until the enemy has used up all their rockets, and suddenly you were set for the rest of the match. You, you see. <laughs> Especially back in the day when killing enemies with heavy used to drop heavy bricks. Oh. Ooh, lordy, lordy! <laughs> oh man, but, uh, I remember them days. Jesus, <laughs> you know what? When I endless got heavy. Oh god, the endless heavy. <laughs> when I heavy. first started getting into PvP in year one, early year one, my favorite gun ever was um, Thunderlord. Yep, Ooh, I loved Thunderlord. Oh, what a satisfying gun! You could oh. go through an entire match with it. Just wait for that first heavy drop, and you were pretty much set. <laughs> yeah, my Golden. Good times. My but, first uh, one was the swarm. The swarm was like my first one. Oh yeah. I think that was my first legendary Vanguard. Yeah. Uh, and that was a good machine, machine gun. gun. That was my introduction to machine guns. And I was, I was very pleased. The Lord giveth, and I, and I <laughs> and taketh the away. away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, what we got then on this new raid machine gun then? All right, the If Materia. It is rocking out with triple tap, <laughs> extended mag, speed reload, braced frame, and triple double, which is the perk we've seen before, yep. where uh, triple trap when the triple tap is activated, an extra bullet is transferred from your reserves to the magazine. So you just hit your headshots with this thing, which I mean, it is a bullet hose, but uh, yeah, yeah, if you can hit your headshots, cool. it'll pull rounds from the magazine, which is pretty That's neat. Not really an easy thing to do when you're rocking a machine gun with 100 rate of fire. fire yeah. <laughs> to help you out, it does have a base aim assist of 80, and uh, with. Oh. <laughs> With braced frame, I think it maxes its stability out at 75. So, okay. it gives you a little bit of help there. That's a lot of aim assist on a machine gun. I predict them mm. bullets chasing me around the corners <laughs> and into the bathroom, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After you stop playing Destiny, yeah. you get up and your character dies. <laughs> yeah. You sign in the next day, you go to the tower, <laughs> pfft, dead. <laughs> oh, 
I'm still no. here, waiting for you. God, 100 <laughs> rate of fire. So the strategy is probably going to be find a titan on your team. Have them stand behind you, hold you in like a bear hug, and then you <laughs> duct tape the trigger down yeah. and try to hold it there. Yeah. That's the official strategy. Yeah. Become Perfect. a mobile turret. When you are wielding that thing, you're going to feel like a small baby on top of a washing dryer. <laughs> Doing it. What? What? What situation does that ever happen? Why would that ever be a situation? <laughs> it, uh, it is now. All right. All right. Picture the yeah, scene. Yeah. Oh gosh. Stories are just terrible. Like small parents. baby wielding a <laughs> I left my kid on top of the tumble dryer again. <laughs> Social security are coming round again. Well, granted, when he grows up, he'll be able to handle this machine gun just oh, fine. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Perfect. I'm teaching him to hold machine guns. Go away. Uh, <laughs> sorry, what? That'll uh, go over well. Well, is that all we got then? Come in hard mode raid. Are those I all the weapons? I, at least it's all the weapons that are in the database. Yeah. But we've got right new now. armor coming as well. There's a whole new raid set of armor with different colors and stuff. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not uh, sure if they have different abilities, though. Mm. I mean, I, I actually guess, haven't looked at them. I guess it's going to be, you know, a repeat of what we had with Taking King. It's the same kind of stuff. It's just a slightly different aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. probably. Mm -hmm. And it's got I do believe, it, so. We'll yeah, that's what I was going to say. Eventually. I think the the hard raid armor comes with ornaments, which is oh. good. I'll take that. Yeah, I didn't think about that actually. So is it going to be all like Siva glowy and stuff? Or I what? think so. I mean, I that so. that would be the guess, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah, that's going to make no sense in the story, but I look forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> I am interested to see how the uh, ornaments drop if you get one per raid completion. Mm. Kind of like trials, or how, how many raids do you have to do before you're actually... Oh, no, I still haven't got a full set go. on any characters yet, and I've done the raid Me every either. week. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still haven't got the shader yet. So, I think uh, I've completed either. more raids in Wrath of the Machine than I have completed... King's Fall, yeah. <laughs> and I had a yep. year to do that one, so I'm not the most worried about it, but it yeah. still sounds like that could just be a lot of grinding considering the, the current economy for ornaments. Yeah. Well, it's a good job there's plenty of different armor sets out there that you can choose from at the moment. You've got all the new stuff from Archon's Forge, you've got Trials, then you've got Iron Banner, and then you've got the Vanguards and the Factions, so there's like loads of stuff, but if you're, that, if you're chasing after the raid armor, you've got some grinding ahead of you, really, because it's... Uh, I, at saying that, though, I've got friends that have got full sets from the first couple of raids that they did. You know? Same here. <laughs> Unfair. Yeah! Thumbs <laughs> yeah. down. <laughs> and as far as grinding goes, I feel like grinding Wrath of the Machine is not really that much of a chore. No, it's it's fun. No, it's, so it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, I've definitely run Wrath of the Machine way more in just the past couple of weeks than I ever ran King's Fall. Like, mm -hmm. I, I think I ran King's Fall maybe four or five times in oh, the yeah. entirety of year two. Same here, same and here. I, I liked it I as a raid. It was just, it was just yeah. a little too long. I think even when you got it down and you had a, a you know a, a reliable team and you knew exactly mm -hmm. what you were doing, where you were standing, blah, 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 it was still a very, very long raid. And I think that worked against... The, the routine. I think that's mm -hmm. why we have a shorter raid this time round, and I think that's definitely the the way forward. So, um, but yeah, yeah like, well, well, I guess we'll see with hard mode though, because hard mode may be much more extended. We have no idea what to expect, but we shall soon find out. I'm Do curious about how the uh, the deaths will play a part because one thing I've noticed from Wrath and Machine, especially now that you can get a full fire team of people in the upper. 80s, 85, uh, yeah. with that higher light, you can die two or three times in a final run on Axis and do just fine. Yep. yep. And I feel like I'm, I'm almost worried that I've gotten a little complacent with that. <laughs> not feeling not like avoiding that death as much as you yeah. should. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so now if, if we do this like permadeath thing like many hard mode raids have done, it'll just be like, uh, oh, okay, this is, a, this is way harder. <laughs> that might just be the only thing they need to do is add permadeath. Yeah. And I'll have a way harder time. 
You know, we talked a bit about that on uh, in our discussions on the raid on previous episodes, but this raid, Wrath the Machine Normal Mode, is a lot more forgiving than yes. uh, certainly oh, King's yeah. Fall is. And yeah, you're absolutely right. You can have three or four deaths on the final fight, and as long as they're spaced <laughs> out appropriately, you you can be just fine with it. Yeah. Uh, I'm, we, it might, we might be a little bit sloppy once heroic mode drops, and uh, suddenly it's not okay to go face hug the captain on the, uh, <laughs> the Axis phase. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we, Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Very Everybody's so day. okay with it, though. I mean, like, yeah. you take someone through who's never done the raid before, and they die at the end of, like, a damage cycle or whatever, and they're like, oh, my God, I died. I'm so sorry. And you're like, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> time. We'll, you we'll minute, come yeah. get you. <laughs> we'll pull the car around. In King's yeah. Hob mode, I died. You <laughs> fucker! <laughs> get out of here! Right. Get out of the party! <laughs> you know, there's those out. comments where you don't want to direct it at anyone, it? but you sort of just ask the question, oh. where you're just like, oh, so someone stepped off a platform, huh? So, yeah. not like <laughs> someone. And then the there's like rage. very quiet party chat really, with no <laughs> one saying who was. Who you was. get that really yeah. passive-aggressive, like, guys, can we focus? All right, can yeah. we all uh, focus? Like, <laughs> oh, God. You know exactly. It's nice. It's nice. Oh, someone's, gotta, someone's gotta do it. Someone's gotta do it. <laughs> someone... And has to get the knight. Who <laughs> didn't kill their, their knight? knight. Uh, yeah. Someone on Ten front left side silence. didn't kill their light eater. Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I hope we don't I'm, have repeats okay, of moving, that. Moving Judgment that. freeze up. Yeah. yeah. Judgment freeze up. <laughs> what are we, yeah, what, I'm looking forward to it. What I'm else have we got from the uh, what was revealed in the weekly update then? Because we've got a Phil Bones in. He missed it. He's been anything spicy. Yeah. <laughs> um, Archon's Forge artifacts and ghosts will now drop up to 400 light so that's going to be a good change thank they also fudge yeah. for that thank fudge because aren't ghosts very very rare as well as artifacts I mean even if you're lucky enough to get a skeleton key I've had four in the last well the last two weeks and every time I've gone to use them on a chest there's no artifact been coughed out at all um, I I feel like I got completely flushed with artifacts from Iron Banner, honestly. Oh, I didn't yeah, get I, any from Iron Banner. I have every I one of the memories at 385 now because of Iron Banner. Wow. Like, oh, it was wow. all I was getting. Oh, wow. <laughs> Screw wow. you, man. I needed to, I'm sorry. I needed sorry, to come guys. play my, with you. <laughs> my, ghost, my ghost is holding me back, though. Sorry, guys. It's cool. oh, I was aware this was a one percenters <laughs> only chat. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, yeah, if you're getting hit on your ghost, I'll let you off then because I've, I've had a couple <laughs> of three. Yeah, you five ghosts, but they've been oh. they've only landed like this week though, and then the last couple of days, the three eighty five ghosts, so mm -hmm. Well, you'll be able to get those from Archon's Forge now. And uh, Bungie also made mention that they were having a bit of a problem. The ghost drop rate was too low yeah. when it came to faction packages. So they're going to be upping the drop rate in faction packages for ghosts. So hopefully you're not going to be held back. Yeah. You got everything at 387 and your ghost is 364. Hopefully you're <laughs> not going to be held back too much longer by that. That should all be going into effect this Tuesday when the update goes live. Can they just Change? give me a sniper or a fusion rifle now? <laughs> from Archon's Forge? Because uh, oh. I haven't got any of those. Oh, you still God. haven't got the vigil? Oh I'm waiting on those. Nope. Me either. I was sitting oh on a pile of them. I had to spend a couple of hours the other morning thinking, which one am I going to have to delete here? Oh. I had to oh. delete about oh. four or five of them, oh. you know? Oh, oh my God. We're going to hate each other by the end of this yeah. episode. <laughs> <laughs> You got what to drop? What? You got what? <laughs> I still Five haven't had a rifle, barrel, rangefinder, look in the chamber, hand cannon ever. In fact, any hand cannon that drops, in no matter what flavor, won't have rifle, barrel on it ever. So uh, there you go. There's my hat. I'm throwing it in the ring. You can dance around it if you like. Or you can ridicule. <laughs> it's up to you. But, I'm yeah. rolling my eyes. Just. I just wanted that. <laughs> just that, that's two minutes just to moan about that. No, look at the chamber range. Find a rifle, bar a hand cannon. <laughs> Still. All right, all right. Enough. Enough. All right, uh, yes. we, we're enough all gonna get belly it. Belly aching. Yeah. yeah. We, all, we all play enough. We all have something everyone else wants, and all the our listeners are just like these, like spoiled little brats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I don't have a salad as vigil. Uh, but they are gonna bring us some uh, some fixes, though, right? 
If the, I mean, it wouldn't be a patch without some yes, fixes. Yes, there are some yep. fixes coming, because apparently the exotic faction class item quests may have only been progressed if a player equipped a Spectar class item for the desired faction. So there were some serious bugs if you were chasing your um, exotic faction item quests. I can attest to this. I, I got to rank 25 in Future Warcold on my Titan this week, and I was super excited, like, oh yeah, I forgot to get this. Yeah. And uh, so I, I, I threw on my faction uh, class item, ran into some strikes, and just didn't even check the progress of the quest. I just ran into strikes, started getting stuff done, then jumped into Crucible. I was like, okay, that's enough strikes, let me jump into Crucible. Fifteen matches later, I'm like, man, I'm making progress on this. Let me take a look at the progress. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Rip. Yeah. Yeah, so that that was a bit of a, a bit of an issue there, but apparently yeah. that's getting addressed on Tuesday. This one I'm particularly happy to see is being fixed. The Trials of Osiris Shader, the Devoted, is actually being added mm. to the pool because that wasn't dropping because it wasn't added to the pool. So if you were chasing after that shader, tough tit. Uh, after Tuesday, uh, it's going to be put back in. And the same with the emblems as well. If you got the nice new Kittipus emblem, from playing um, past a trials card, a nine, a nine and zero victory, or is it just a full trials card? I had a few friends said that they got this new, new emblem, the new scarab, scarab emblem, from playing on a full trials card that had losses on it. So either way, that emblem, um, if you did get it, you weren't able to get it from the kiosk. More importantly, if that emblem dropped for you and you didn't have any space in your emblems inventory it wouldn't go to the postmaster or had the potential to not go to the postmaster which means you'd be stuck in a limbo of not getting that emblem so hopefully all of that's going to be addressed on Tuesday yeah. um, that, as well as the new flawless emblem as well that's not available from the kiosk but they were at some point they were because I, I remember when Rise of Iron released I went to the kiosk and was like oh there's a new trials emblem oh there's a new scarab emblem oh nice that's great and then they just vanished they just disappeared <laughs> So that's getting fixed, um, and then what was what else was there? The uh, student of history, something about troubleshooting methods and not re resolving issues impacting the trophy slash achievement. Student of history, that's getting. Mm. What is the student of history? I have no idea, but it's getting fixed. I so think that's getting all of the memory <laughs> artifacts. Okay. I oh yeah, of course, because yeah, that that results go. in an emblem. You get a nice Rise yeah. of Iron themed yeah. emblem. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, I have quite a few friends that had full emblem inventories when that should have dropped and they didn't get it. So Oof. hopefully that that will be fixed. I know. Can you imagine the tears and sadness? <laughs> and especially yeah. these new emblems are nice. And when you've been wearing the same yeah. emblem for a long time, it's nice to freshen up your cosmetics, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, sure. And then and all the OCD people out there. This includes myself. We'll oh be goodness. very, very happy to know oh, that yes. while progressing through the new Thorn quest, A Light in the Dark, Shiro 4 displays a false waypoint icon in the Iron Temple. It's so every, <laughs> every time you'd visit him, he'd have an icon above his head, and you'd go and say, okay, Shiro, what do you want? Nothing. Okay, I'll come <laughs> back later. I. Yeah, I'll come back later. What do you, like? what do you want? Yes, <laughs> nothing. Okay, I'll come back later. So yeah, I've been avoiding the Iron Temple because of that. It just exactly. drives me crazy. Yep, exactly. I've been throwing. It's weird, you know. We had that exact same glitch in year one with the Thorn Quest, and now all the way up here in year three, it's back just with a different character. Well, you know, it's Thorn. <laughs> it's it's all it's about cursed. nostalgia. This this DLC, isn't it? So it's perfect. <laughs> Yeah. Shiro is that driver on the highway who's going for 10 miles with his blinker on and he doesn't know. Uh, Shiro, what do you want? Uh, what do you want? Or even worse, he does know. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> oh my god. So yeah, there's some. there's been some bugs. There, there, there is some coming fixes. There is no mention at this stage. Um, some of our exotics are a little bit broken. The Frosties. They're yeah. not charging up. When you're sprinting, you're not getting your um, accelerated grenade recharge. Is it the grenade or the melee recharge? One of those isn't I, working I anyway. I think it's the grenade, because I yeah. always feel like I have melee and no grenade. Yeah. Yes, because <laughs> it's actually taking... I think it puts you to zero discipline, uh, mm -hmm. but they are bugged. They are completely bugged. It is. It has been confirmed and acknowledged, um, but there isn't any word on whether those are going to get fixed on Tuesday or not. So... 
But there's a there's a bug that I've experienced uh, that I don't I don't think is fixed yet, where you can't play with somebody if you are on the same internet connection, like in your house, like yes. two Xboxes. Yeah, oh, wow. it's very frustrating. Wow. Yeah. Is there a workaround? Wait, are you sure. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I spent. It was just last. It was just last week on the Xbox. I don't know if it's a PlayStation issue too, but we were trying to uh, film a video and we could not get into the same fire team. The only way we got around it was by signing in on each other's Xboxes over and over again, switching, and eventually it let us join each other. Oh my! Jeez. That's a fair few yeah. hoops to have to jump through. Let's hope that gets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, uh, they, they've been talking a bit about local fire teams having issues to join, and it's certainly something I've experienced over the, uh, really since the Taken King came out. I, was, I always had a rough time joining my brother whenever he was over here playing with me, and uh, I, I haven't dealt with that since the patch before Rise of Iron where they said they pushed out something to sort of address that. So I, I think it might be fixed for me here on PlayStation 4. No idea about Xbox, but I have experienced that. Oh, VOGT Gaming in the chat says you have to name your console something different. That sounds interesting. For a, what? <laughs> you have to name. You have to rename oh. the consoles different names to fix the multiple in system settings. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. I, like, right. I really Gaming. wish I would have had that when I spent an hour and a half trying to figure out how to fix it. All right, I'll do that. Thank you very much indeed for that. That's uh, yes, thank you. So, if anyone else is having that Good kind of problem, if you've got two consoles in the same house, maybe you're playing with your dad or your mum or your grandma or your grandpa, you can try <laughs> naming the console something different. Maybe I would love to play Destiny <laughs> with my grandma. That would be, oh my gosh! That'd be awesome. I don't think I could handle if she was better than me. So <laughs> I don't know. Be, you know she's crazy. better than you. You I, know I it do deep know. down. I know. <laughs> career ended <laughs> <laughs> that would be the end she'd have a better voice than me too oh rip my, my entire life gone <laughs> now you have nothing <laughs> nothing it was, it was, grandma you took everything <laughs> taking it all why, back grandma, why I've given you, you everything cookies, and now I take like, it all away <laughs> well, quality well, then, of life fixes are always very nice um, I think maybe the frosties and things like that. The sandbox stuff takes a little bit of uh, additional time. Yeah, I'm wondering sure. if maybe they have a few more things that you know besides the one or two big bugs we know. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'd be interested to see some changes. Part of why I'm interested, and I did a little research this week because it's like the one time I had a chance to actually go into a private match and look at this. I wanted to look at all of the warlock exotics, the new ones. I've been playing with the Fidian aspect, and I think there's no reason to ever take those off, but I wanted mm -hmm. to give the other ones yep. a look. And I put on Astrocyte Verse, the one that offers additional recovery when blinking. Mm -hmm. And I had my friend Dan shoot me. And he shot me, I got into red, and I blinked, and I procced the thing, and I ran away. And the perk is over before my recovery kicked in and started bringing my health back. Oh, that is really? a shame. So I was like, That's wait, no, no, hold on. <laughs> we did yeah, it like three times. I'm like, turns out my recovery, which was, I tried it, the lowest recovery, the most yeah. recovery I can put on my Warlock, the Voidwalker, mm -hmm. and it didn't bring my health back at any time. Uh, I, so I see no instance in where that, that perk actually helps you at all. <laughs> wow. So uh, I'm, wow. I'm hoping for a change to that because it's one of the coolest looking exotics. It is. I think that's what I was going to say. Yeah. It but, bums uh, me out that it's so useless because it looks so cool. I mean, yeah, I, can, yeah. I can understand because like in the beginning, that helmet was going to have potentially a game-breaking perk. I mean, to blink a further yes. distance and to reduce the cooldown of blink. So you'd be able to blink more often and at a much further distance. However, when I think about it now, it's like they could have extended the blinking distance by, I don't know, a meter and probably got away with that. But how, it, as it stands at the moment, the, the, this extra recovery or this tiny boost to recovery on blink, and you have to blink at precisely the right time, otherwise mm -hmm. it won't mm -hmm. work at all. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I can imagine that in the beginning. That was kind of a hard one to, tr to try and fix because the, the, that original perk was going to be quite potentially game-breaking. Yeah. It was going to be big. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what they could do with it. Uh, maybe it was sort of... <laughs> they didn't know what to do with it. I, I just yeah. feel so weird even saying, like, oh, this isn't 
useful at all. Normally, mm -hmm. I can see the appeal of a niche play type. You know, this perk might not make you the newest Slayer, but it could give you this fun style yeah. when you're wearing it. It would have been yeah. better off as a legendary helmet that was just like every other helmet, but it just had that look. And it, it would just probably have been yeah. the most <laughs> desirable I helmet. Agree. You know, just give like, me a legendary with that look, because yeah. I want that. Do you know what I mean? Yes. It would so, be... Bones, not to backtrack a little bit, but did you get the Ophidians before Zer came this weekend? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've had them. Oh, lucky, man. lucky. <laughs> See, again, we all have something that everyone else wants. And That's true, all, yeah. Uh, Wait till you hear how I got mine. I had one. <laughs> Wait till you hear how I got mine. I right, was let's, let's hear. second legendary gauntlets engram. I think oh, it was no. week two. Uh, End of week two. <laughs> Bang. Ophidian, Ophidian ding dong at 387. Out of oh, no, like this. Wow. <laughs> And here I am with like 16 exotic gauntlet engrams, nothing to show for it. Yeah. <laughs> that was me in year two. I was chasing after so many things. Uh, at, oh, Graviton Forefeet, there was a helmet that took an, obs an insane amount of time mm. to drop yeah. for me. Um, I Link. Think I, I think Zer sold it, and that's how I got it. Yeah. I feel your pain, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I it came hurts. home because they were like, oh my God, Zer is here, and he has the Trespasser, and he has like. A leg like he has a gauntlet engram, and not a legacy one. Not a legacy. I was like, oh my god. <gasps> so I got home, and I was like, I am getting Ophidian. Like, it's happening, okay? And I sense I, where the story's going. <laughs> yeah, you already know where the story's going. Um, so I did get one, but it took me uh -oh. almost, I think, 500 strange coins. Oh again. my god. <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> And then Giant I hopped on. To pay respect. <laughs> press um, F to yeah. pay respect. <laughs> coins, <laughs> coins. And then I Maybe hopped on just... PlayStation oh. 4, and then I spent about 180 and didn't <laughs> get any on PlayStation 4. I think maybe this was all an elaborate ruse to get people to burn through their stock of strange coins. Yes. <laughs> right. You know what? That's a conspiracy theory, but I think you might be right. Yeah, Especially because we got the light level yeah. increasing next week. Yeah. So there's like. Everybody blow blow mm -hmm. your load of strange coins now. Get it out of the way. So you've got nothing for next week. Yeah, I could just picture <laughs> it in the point. HQ office. There's like cigar smoke everywhere. It's a dark, dingy room. <laughs> Take the legacy engrams out, see? <laughs> Replace them with a gauntlet cigar engram. <laughs> like, but sir, what do you mean? Yeah. We'll get them to buy them all yeah. before we raise the light. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all I know is that Zer went home this weekend to his... Squid faced wife and kids with a huge <laughs> bag of my money because yeah. we are eating tonight, yo. Where was that, uh, <laughs> that third man gift where he's rubbing his hands? <laughs> <laughs> Swimming in a Scrooge McDuck pool of my coins. Yeah. Oh, can somebody please draw Zer diving into a vault of strange coins for me? Because that sounds amazing. No, Put it could. out there. Animators yeah. get to work. Yes. Like, We've been looking for a new, uh, uh, some new emotes here on the channel. That's what I want. Zer <laughs> diving yes. into coins. Yes. <laughs> All the Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> or what about Zer like... He, doing that meme pose where it's like, why can't I hold all these coins? <laughs> that, would yes. be, that would be really good. <laughs> Point of the story, I did get one pair of Ophidians. Thank Ooh. God. Yeah. I think I wasted, like I said, about 16 engrams. And then I held on to the rest. I've got about 15 more, and I'm just waiting for Tuesday. I'm just going to wait for Tuesday. Wait turn Tuesday. everything in there. We'll see. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, maybe you'll get lucky. I mean, I, the, I've noticed, and I, I really enjoy this, exotics just popping out of blues and purples every occasion. That it, It's not mm -hmm. raining with them, but the fact is that it surprises you. It, ta it takes you by surprise, and this, it, it's never happened before. Mm. You know, getting exotic out of a blue. It does drop at a much lower light, but do you care if it's got a good I roller? A, I, have <laughs> a friend, I have a friend who's gotten six exotics from blues. He got three in a row Jeez. once. Oh I have God. no idea how that's possible. But. So I made, I made the mistake of tweeting out that it took me over five, or like almost 500 coins to get the affinity. Oh, no. And all weekend, people have been tweeting me <laughs> about how easy it was to, oh, I got it in one, I got it in one. And then this morning, uh, Ishtar Commander, you know, he runs a, a Destiny item manager type program. Very good one. He, yeah, it's a pretty good one, too. He oh, yeah. tweeted at me directly, showing me a video he recorded of him going to 
<laughs> the Cryptarch with a blue engram, and he got the Ophidians out of it. Oh. He's like, hey, uh, just wanted to send this to you because it made me think of you. I was like, God damn it. I just wanted to cover this in lemon juice and stuff I it in your eye. I am <laughs> deleting my Twitter tonight. <laughs> Post a video oh, of you someday. uninstalling the, the Shire Commander. <laughs> but that's the beauty yeah, of it. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Oh, I should have done that. <laughs> Damn it, Bones, you're never around when I need you. Damn it. Oh, I'm sorry. I love that, though, because I, I was never supposed to get them. The Ophidians were supposed to be that exotic that was going to be starved f from my account for months and months until Xur sold them. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was the destiny. And, and, and in fact, it came from a purple. And I stuffed, I flipped the bird <laughs> to RNG. I was able to stand <laughs> proud and say... You know Sydney. what? Screw you! I got him now! <laughs> I'm imagining Story like flipping off his screen and yelling at his monitor and someone coming in like, Whoa, what's wrong? Like, oh, nothing. I just got the thing I wanted. The universe opened up and changed for one second because of a purple for me. And everything was right in the world. Everything was right in the world. And well, I hope everyone got one who wanted one because it's a really good piece of armor. Yes, mm -hmm. there isn't. I mean, you only need one pair of gauntlets now for everything. Absolutely. Like on my hunter, I've got like a scout rifle. We got mm -hmm. you know everything. Every yep. reloads for everything. Pulse rifles, different stats on them as well. So if I want to change the blade dance or night stalker, I've got all the yeah. all the right loadouts. And then warlock, one pair. It does one. everything for your warlock <laughs> neutral game. I feel like they could have had. Uh, like someone like Billy Mays on late night TV. <laughs> Billy yeah. Mays here with the Ophidian aspect. Take <laughs> all your gauntlets, throw them away. This thing <laughs> does it all. And you just set them and forget them. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> Unpopular <laughs> opinion, but I don't want them nerfed ever. Leave them alone. Mm. Leave them be. <laughs> Just leave, leave, leave them be. We should be. get off the topic before they are, yeah. because I don't now want they're going to hear us. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> chat is just a they of are nerf, nerf, out, terrible yeah. gauntlets. Yeah, they uh, are not helpful. In bad. Please, please buff them, Bungie. They're worthless yeah. right now. You don't need I, them. Uh, <laughs> I Look. did not make a YouTube video talking about how great they are. <laughs> Let's be honest. They just can't stand up to the astrocyte verse. Like, mm -hmm. They really can't. Mm -hmm. so, no. Mm -hmm. well, it, 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 there is a negative. That big snake head thing is a little big. That needs to be shrunk down a little bit. The big snake head thing that emits off no. the end of the shoulder. What? It's wrong. a little bit if on the anything, big side. Yeah, that's wrong. If anything, they need to make wrong. it bigger. Yes. No, no, even bigger. Unplayable. Like a sandwich yeah. board. <laughs> the end is nigh. Yeah. You know. Oh dear me. Uh. But yeah, that, that 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 that's good. I like that. They came from a purple. So yeah. All right. <laughs> well, before we move on away from the weekly update, there's one thing that wasn't really spoken about too much in the update that I kind of wanted to bring up to you guys and see if uh, if I could get your opinions on it. While it wasn't officially announced, do you guys think we might get the surprise launch of Festival of the Lost this week? Ooh. I really hope so, but I also really doubt it. I don't know. Exactly. I think next week it would make yeah, more sense. I, Hard mode yeah. should be the spotlight for this mm -hmm. this coming week, mm -hmm. and then Festival of the Lost for either the end of the month or next week at the earliest, I think. That's a good call. Absolutely. How long did it last last year? I think like it was two weeks, one, two weeks? It was two one week beyond Halloween yeah. is what I believe sure. it was. Yeah. yeah, we had all the decorations in the tower for two whole weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. And it was very, very pretty. Was it and it was so like unexpected as well. We yeah, weren't expecting know, it. it. We're great. expecting it this time. So, I was like a giddy little child when I got on, and yeah. I was there. I was like, ooh, there's Christmas lights! That was Everywhere. one of my favorite memories in the community, because I was at work, so I couldn't enjoy it right away, but my Twitter exploded. People were <laughs> sharing pictures and video clips, and it was just really awesome to see everyone, having, yeah, everyone yeah. having so much fun with the Festival of the Lost. It's really cool. I'm really excited that it's coming back. Yeah, yeah can't man. wait for it. Uh, the, I'm really excited for it. I wish I could have heard the entire Destiny community as they signed in that one time, and it was <laughs> signing and go to the tower, and everyone was literally saying the same thing. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? My God. Cool. Mom, get the camera. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I got a mask. Oh, my God, I'm the crypto. Oh, my God, I'm Zer. Oh, my God, I'm Atheon. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I get to be Crota, and then suddenly everyone hates me. Yeah, man. I don't understand yeah. it. 
I can wear a mask and a jackalite on my head, so I, I can be easy sniper fodder in the crucible. Uh, <laughs> I loved it when people put them yeah. things on. I'm like, oh, oh a yeah. headshot, a headshot. <laughs> head. Easy money. Easy money. And um, what have we got then? Next on the list we, of things uh, to flap our lips about. There was a little, another little something. Was there something special? Mm, might mm. have. To, I know what you're talking about. Might have to save that for next time. We should. Uh, we should save. Yeah, that. I think. Well, we I was thinking about the Q and A. That. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what he meant. Q and A. Is there anyone <laughs> in the chat? Right now. <laughs> is there anyone no, in the we chat? Do. Don't listen to him. Yeah, man. Is there anyone in the chat that would <laughs> like to ask? Some destiny related questions. Is it, should it be destiny related or anything related? I think I like I, both. Anything. Yeah. anything ask, related. Ask us the world. most personal questions you can think of. <laughs> wow. We'll answer oh, anything. Okay. <laughs> Question anything. for Mega What's your deepest, darkest secret? <laughs> um, one time when I was waiting for a friend to pick me up, I, I bet on a fart outside and I lost that bet and pooed a little <laughs> and still went to his house and had to hide it. There you go. Well, wow. that's it Deepest, for the planet Destiny. Dark <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. I honestly thought you were going to say, it's my chin goes to the end of this beard. But yes, this is, this I'm is completely surprised. Right now, no. I went well, real. My Tyler, if you're listening to this, it was weird. <laughs> I went to the bathroom for a period, and that was why. Yeah. There we go, man. Glad that's been brought to the surface. <laughs> Azure oh, Sky Shadow says, <laughs> "Chunky or smooth peanut butter? Go, chunky, smooth. chunky." What do you mean? Get out of here with smooth. Ooh, I know that either. your voice is smooth, but your peanut butter shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, describe what you mean by chunky, because this might be I mean, a literal heresy. I mean, whole well, peanuts. when I eat peanut butter, it is usually peanut butter on a spoon after the gym, and I gotta have the texture of something. That's okay, that's so why. I mean, chunky is in like actual whole peanuts still in there. No, no just like some crunch okay. up bits in there. All right, we, don't worry. Be friends. So no, I mean friends. peanut shells and everything in there. I just <laughs> throw it all in. <laughs> I was gonna say my peanut butter is as smooth as my game, meaning Ooh. it's crumbly as hell, <laughs> filled with debris and shit. <laughs> but uh, I like both. All right, I like both. I was gonna say I'm gonna be that middleman. Both. Uh, I have both. Just to piss you Choose a side, you cowards. <laughs> no. I make my own peanut butter. Like I make oh, really? It. Yeah, man. Wait, really? Whoa. Yeah, it's really okay. easy to make. Here's an, here's an interesting thing. Most peanut butter is not made with any butter. It's just an, yep. uh, some kind of oil. So, mm -hmm. literally, I started off with roasting my own nuts. There we go. Maybe we could make a little video about that. Hey, alright. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you I'll might want to watch me roast my own nuts, you know. <laughs> I would love to watch that. But you, know, yeah, that's it. you can add your own flavors, paprika. You can put can all kinds of make strange a clip things. of that for me. Get that. Yeah, can we just get that? that? Get a tier but one. Let's first here. open the PayPal up. We can't oh, do this God. for free. Yeah. If you want to see me roast my own nuts, you have to pledge uh, one million dollars. I want to see him roast his own nuts. <laughs> I'll say it. I I don't. I let's start the bid at two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Have we got any takers? Any go. Uh, Planet Destiny okay. Knights. <laughs> Knights. <laughs> um, podcast is dark. Sexy. Well, God, I I hate to derail the the peanut train here. <laughs> yeah, but I do have a Destiny related question lined up. Okay, okay. thank go God. This one is from Mike Mori. Um, he says, "What do you think about Juggernaut being active only on the ground? Do you think it would help balance the perk?" I'm going to say right off the bat that I think a lot of people in the community uh, complain about Juggernaut, and it can be a frustrating perk to deal with. We all know that for sure. But I don't think it's as, quote, broken as a lot of people make it out to be. Agreed. I, yeah. I think if you just play um, adaptive, reactive to the Juggernaut, you know what I mean? You can take it down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, just backpedal. It, I mean, it, it matters a lot about what's going on, what game type you're in, what weapon you have. But Titans can get very, very over-aggressive and over -chargy, And you can take advantage of that. You can backpedal with a shotgun. You can backpedal, throw a grenade on the floor, primary shoot. You can do a ton of stuff yeah. to Jump shut up in down the air, the float above them. The, yeah. only, the only time I've ever had a serious problem with Juggernaut is when you're against a team of... In 
like Titans all running juggernaut. <laughs> then it's a little tricky, but like on, on a one to one encounter or even a two to one encounter, I'm not really having that much of a problem dealing with juggernaut, man. And uh, initially I was, but like there are loads of counters. Like if you're a hunter, you can shade step to the side and shotgun them in the waste, you know, around mm -hmm. the juggernaut. There's plenty of counters, and now you've got Zer selling the trespasser on the weekend. So there's there is plenty of counters for juggernaut, I think. Here's something that I really recommend to people pretty often, and Bones can back me up on this because we talk about it a lot. If there's a perk, any perk, or a weapon, anything at all, that you think is very, very, very strong, too strong maybe, in PvP, then what you should do is you should go into PvP and you should use it as yep. much as you can. Yeah. Because you're going to find out all of its weaknesses. How all yeah. of its weaknesses. Yeah. yeah. You are going to learn from inside the belly of the beast, and then you're going to take mental notes. And it's going to help you because you're going to be like, oh man, that guy just did this to kill me. I've been getting shut down by XYZ. I thought Juggernaut was like way stronger. And that's yeah. how you figure out how to get around the Hop into a private things. match with your friends and just like sure. have someone charge at you with a juggernaut and see all the different ways that you can take them out. I mean, a decent fusion rifle, if you land all of your bolts on a juggernaut, they're dead. They disappear <laughs> in a lovely colored, you know, pick your color, cloud of vapor. They're off. So uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was about to say, if you want the cheap and easy method, plan C. Yeah, man. Yep. Plan mm -hmm. C. I love plan C. That is the answer yeah. to your shotgun uh, juggernaut titan rushing problem. It is yeah. literally plan C. It, nothing will change your tune faster than equipping juggernaut and charging someone and getting blown up on your way there. <laughs> and go like, wait a minute, what? Oh, this actually requires a little bit of approach and, yeah. and sure. strategy. And don't get us wrong. We're not saying that it's a weak perk. It's a, it's a good perk, and it yeah. does well, but it's not... Mm -hmm unbeatable. No. It's not broken not to the point all. where you can't learn things about it. And that goes for many things in the game. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're shooting the shield with your primary, that is your sign. <laughs> Think about and and it's, it, <laughs> it's it seems so obvious. Don't shoot the shield. <laughs> Think about your game. Think about what's happening. Are you playing this juggernaut? Is he giving you a hard time? Are you shooting the shield? If you are, you might have a chance that he procced it too soon, it'll go down quickly, and you'll be firing him down, whatever. That's very rare. That's a fringe case, because that means they mm -hmm. started too soon. If you are shooting the shield, realize that you're doing that, and then when, whenever you would be shooting the shield, that's your chance to move. Because that means you have enough time to line up a primary shot, you have plenty of time to either jump up in the air or put a grenade down on the ground, or both, because that can happen simultaneously. So if you are shooting that shield, realize that you could be spending your time uh, repositioning and getting an advantage rather than just hoping to God that his shield goes away and for some reason your you know, one second time to kill gun is going to be enough by the time yeah. he's close enough. So, yeah. Good question. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, man. Yes. Yes, Moving on, we got sure. another one right here. Here's a fun one. Question from Proto. What new masks would you like to see from the Festival of the Lost? Axis. 100% yes. Axis. Axis for sure. I want uh, Pyramid Face from the uh, the new strike. I can never remember his name. The uh, Pyramid oh, Face. Yeah. I just call him Pyramid Face. Yes, oh, yes. Okay. The, uh, Voxus? Uh, yeah. Voxus? Is that Voxus? Something Voxus? like that? Yes, that's Voxus. Yes. Vosik. Yes. Yeah. Vosik. That's, that's the one. That's, Sorry. Yeah. It's all Pyramid Head. I want, I want Pyramid <laughs> Head. That's my favorite face of any enemy in the game. Do you know what mask I really want? You know when you go to the tower and there are like those janitor robots like <laughs> cleaning yes. in the corner? Yes. I want to be Guardian. a janitor robot. <laughs> Ephrodite wouldn't be a bad one to have as well. Oh, J.S. Cool. Shade, that's a good, yes, Ephrodite mask. I would like a bit of that. I want a ghost head. We don't have that. Right. Really the new trials the ghost. ghost head would yeah. be nice, man. <laughs> I, I love that. Yeah. I wish it was a ghost, and if you changed your ghost shell, it changed the mask oh, too. That'd be cool. <laughs> oh. yeah. Next level. Why am I not uh, making this game? I think big oversized <laughs> salad in head. Corvic. Cool. That's his name. Corvic. Cousin was oh, very Corvick? much oh, Corvic. Yes. Oh, somebody knew. Good thing we have a <laughs> podcast. Yeah. Uh, Which one's Vosik then? I think that's the raid. Guy, yeah, Isn't yeah, he's the right boss. Yeah, boss yeah. the right boss. Oh, that's what I thought you were talking I, about. Okay. I said it earlier today, and I'm too stupid to remember. So good. Uh, the Matador in Twitch chat has said he wants 
Omnigol in a farmer's hat. That is a Ooh. brilliant idea. <laughs> really. <Yes. laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Royalties go to you, my friend. <laughs> Here's one uh, from Nerdlit from the Twitch chat. What is your current favorite primary weapon for PvP? Ooh. Uh, I don't I mind. I use the uh, the Iron Banner hand cannon ever since last week when Fallout gave me the tip to lower my uh, my magazine to four shots with luck in the chamber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that being anyone's favorite at the moment. I yeah, wouldn't mind is, trying a, a bit lot of, that. of fun. Yeah, <laughs> I think that thing deals like what a hundred and thirty for a precision shot with luck in the yeah. chamber. Oh yeah, I just tear <laughs> people down like every time. <laughs> I love it. I love the look of it as well. I, I'm, I'm struggling a little with mine. I've had some really good games with it, but like it, it's because it's like the first curse style. You get outshot a lot with, uh, you know, like palindromes and uh, various other weapons, but it's still very, very satisfying to use. Just with the, I just have rifle barrel bug standard. I have no look in the chamber or anything like that, but uh, I am enjoying that a lot. I have a question perfect for Bones. Oh, this is perfect. This is from Jay Staff. And the question is, if Bungie brings back a new Year 3 version of the Icebreaker, uh, what would you want them to do with it? I would want them to revert it to all the settings it had before it got destroyed and pummeled and murdered into the ground. Yes. Because people can't handle the IB <laughs> when I'm slaying them in skirmish. I don't even care about the ammo region. I will go pick up boxes all day. But if that sniper had... The the perks it had, it, 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 it the the intrinsic stats, it'd be fine. But it got turned into the slowest sniper rifle in the game, and it was just that was just that was literally murder. That was just <laughs> saying uh, we could just bring it back in line, but we're actually gonna crush it to nothing. <laughs> oh, I, I, the ammo gen is fun. It's great when in a meta where you don't have a lot of sniper rounds. I can see why that's crazy. Why that. Uh, why it was the game-breaking gun of year one in in so many ways, and Galahorn, sure, but Icebreaker just changed engagements completely. So I don't know if we'll see it again for that reason. I think we will. Unless they do change the ammo regen. 2017 April update. I think it'll make. It's the what? It's the the last year one nostalgia exotic, and it will mm. make a comeback just like G Horn did. It will definitely make a comeback. I think. There's one other forgotten exotic. I just posted a gif of it in the chat. Pocket Infinity. Infinity yeah. Oh, oh thanks. God. The beast. Yeah, man. No, thanks. <laughs> People got really salty. And you know what? I don't care. I loved Pocket Infinity. It was, was the cheesy one. best <laughs> gun ever. Everyone hated it because it was so powerful. And, like, everyone used it because it was so powerful. Yep. But there was nothing funnier than just gluing the trigger down and covering your eyes and walking into a room <laughs> getting a double kill. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they change the sight on it? I loved the sight. The, orig column. the original yeah, sight oh, on that gun. I, so fun. I loved the original sight on that gun and then they changed it and it wasn't as good and I was heartbroken. You yeah, you know, yeah. just with Pocket it. It, Pocket was of course the first gun to get nerfed. The first exotic to get yeah. nerfed in Destiny. Quickly. And it's kind of been yeah, very quickly. Yeah. Uh, I think it originally could get, like, what, eight rounds in the mag, was it? Because yeah, I, I think it had a magazine size of five, yeah. and then if you, I think you could get it up to eight or something, but it was crazy. And its perk activated super often, so you could literally just sit there, hold the trigger, charge it up, it would fire, pull ammo from the mag, fire, pull ammo from the mag. If you missed, you got it right back. <laughs> That was a silly. <laughs> that was a silly weapon. So and silly. It's kind of uh, it's kind of been the forgotten exotic of Destiny. It's the mm -hmm. one that uh, we haven't heard of literally since it got nerfed. And I'm mm -hmm. wondering if and when they're ever going to bring it back. Forgotten, yeah. silly. Forgotten, depending on who you talk to. I feel like <laughs> once a week, I'll be talking to my brother, and you know, out of nowhere, he'll be like, "I miss Pocket Infinity." <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, you guys aren't even talking about destiny yeah. stuff. You're just I like, just asked yeah. Actually, like, yeah, we're yeah. just talking Talk about, about. <laughs> yeah, football. I'll just be like, I miss my, the my brother has a fantastic clip, which I will dig up and tweet out. Ooh. Old destiny. He's in PVP on, I don't know. Can't remember what map. Black Pandora. I'm not sure. 
uh, Pandora? Is that a map? Yeah. No, Pantheon. Excuse me. Pantheon. Yeah. Pantheon. And he's way back on spawn, and he's being charged by two blade dancers, and he kills them with <laughs> one clip of pocket <laughs> Fantastic clip. That got a silly, it silly was. fun. It certainly was. Alrighty, let's polish up then with one more question from the uh, Twitch chess. Are we waiting <laughs> for a good one here? Have we got one? I thought, thought we had one loaded in the chamber. Oh, looks Battle Crates yeah. confirmed. Yeah, it was a mag size of like 7 to 8 with incredibly high stability. Yeah! <laughs> that broken Ridiculous. monster. Ridiculous. Pandora. New map? <laughs> Yeah. Pan Pandora's, Pandora's box yes. room for new <laughs> Pandora's box is just a room that's like five by five. That's it. Everyone oh, spawns no. in six v six. Oh. Everyone spawns in. Oh. Well, it's oh. a it's a new map sponsored by the music service Pandora, where every oh. Oh. minute and a half the map <laughs> changes. I like that. I like this I like very that. much. <laughs> Trials next week. Black Pandora one v one me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's a good one. Jellyworm, do you think G-Horn is not good anymore? As a closing question. No, it's still good. I think yeah. it's great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Wolfpack rounds <laughs> that was easy. behave a little strangely, <laughs> don't they? They do behave a little strangely because sometimes they won't do anything, you know, like that. But it's mm -hmm. it's it, it's not like a, a really big thing. It's still a very strong rocket launcher and it's very strong in PvP still as well. Like you you right. might not get a kill from the rocket, but you will from the wolf pack rounds. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the tracking makes it kills. so incredible it, yeah. in in what it does and in both PvE and PvP. It's not going to you know kill a boss in one shot like maybe it did back in the day. Obviously <laughs> that damage output was crazy, but um it, just being able to trust it to do to hit anything is mm -hmm. what makes it incredible. And Truth still has a lot of that, but the, the wolf pack rounds is just an extra little bonus in case it hits a wall and they correctly blink out of the way or something like that. You still have a chance to finish them off. So it's it's a very consistent, trustworthy weapon, which is what makes it so so appealing, I think. And it's not surprising to see it in PvP because for primaries and special weapons, the legendaries are really great. You have yeah. Palindrome, mm -hmm. Is Luna, Hawksaw, PDX-45, Matador. There's plenty of top-tier legendary options. And if you just love the guns that you have that are purple, then just throw yeah. on the G-Horn, because it's not going to hurt at all. <laughs> and, I mean, certainly Yallerhorn has competition now with that. We've got other fantastic heavy weapons in, like, the Sleeper Simulant. Shoot, mm -hmm. the Dark Drinker, as a, I don't know if everybody here watched Dado's video, yeah. the mm -hmm. Dark Drinker is a fantastic Fantastic heavy weapon. Raze yep. Lighter is a fantastic sure, heavy yes. weapon. Yep. These are all great options for your heavy slot. But yeah, the Yeller Horn is still good. It's still a fun weapon, and it's still great for clearing up mobs. Yep. Like, I don't know if anybody else actually uses for that. I just drop that into a pack of six enemies and watch <laughs> yeah. them all scatter <laughs> to the furthest corners of the universe. Yep. And uh, so, yeah, it, it, it's not bad at all. Certainly, it's not what it was in year one. You can't head into Valus and erase him in 15 seconds anymore. Yeah. But it's still a very good heavy weapon. Just and because you something isn't the best doesn't mean yeah. it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go then. I think right. that's that's about wrapped everything up for the this this week's podcast. I think. Uh, thank stuff. you very Coming much up. for the chat contributing in such a beautiful manner. Uh, we're very, As usual. Yeah, man. And so we can wrap things up by uh, telling everybody who we are and where you can find us. Let's go with Mega first. All right, then. Mega Magwitch of Husky Raid. You can find me on YouTube if you search Husky Raid. If you want some funny Destiny videos, we just posted our Halloween episode of Destiny Cops, which features beautiful voice work by yours truly. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, other than that, you can go to Husky Raid Guys on Twitter and read some stupid tweets every now and then. Why don't we go to Fallout Plays now? Hey, you can find me on twitch.tv slash falloutplays and youtube.com slash falloutplays. And I do videos on PvP and Crucible guides. I have a video coming out tomorrow on all the numbers behind the Ophidian aspect. Should be a good one. Bones, Looking where can we find you? 
Oh, guys, it's good to be back. I, I missed you guys last week, but uh, you can you can find me at Bones underscore CR on Twitter if you want to see me argue with people. And if you want to go to <laughs> CrucibleRadio.com, you can check out uh, all that you could ever need to know about Crucible Radio. Uh, the other podcast I'm on, we cover everything PvP. Um, we are talking about trials a lot lately, and coming up we're going to do a big exotic armor grading uh, report card. So we're going to see which one's good. Hint, it's not Astrocyte first. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to throw that in there off the cuff, I didn't know. you? That? Dream I my it's, it's not great, but uh, what about you, the Black Link? Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm TBL, and you can find me pretty much everywhere on the internet, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, at The Black Link. I also do streams on Planet Destiny and produce content for them, too. You can catch my weekly streams. I do about three streams a week from Tuesday, or Wednesday, and Thursday, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern. This week, we're going to have a stream leading up unto the update release, and then uh, probably going on until the release of the... Hard mode of the raid. We'll see what's going to go on with that, see if we can get some world first action going up on there. And of course, on my personal YouTube channel, I make Destiny videos, guides, and stuff. And shenanigans is my specialty. <laughs> Definite shenanigans. Nice. Beautiful. I'll see you there. Excellent. Sorry, finish this up. Yeah, man. Uh, you can find me here in the chat. Uh, there's my name. It's got <laughs> weird stuff in it because the um, correct spelling was actually taken. So uh, there you go. It's Story Machine with a 4 for an A in Machine. I make funny videos. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much my extent of the Destiny universe. My YouTube channel is more or less exclusively Destiny-related. I sometimes stream for Planet Destiny as well. And, uh, yeah, you can find me uh, alongside everyone else. If you go to Planet Destiny's YouTube page, along the right-hand column, there is a list of amazing channels to follow. Please go there and click the subscribe button on each and every one. Show some support and love like you do very well. And uh, that's great. Uh, we'll be uh, back at you again with another podcast at the same time next week. Thank you very much for joining us. Yes, and sir. thank you for showing your beautiful faces in the chat. And, um, yeah, huge, huge, huge thanks. We really appreciate it. Maybe that week all and of our faces will be visible on this 